So you're going to tell me what happened? I don't know. Mark called me last night, but he won't tell me what happened. Well, was it health issues or something? I don't know. He seemed like he was in pretty good shape, and he wasn't that old. Well, what was it? I mean, what... Tara, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Why are you getting so angry? I'm sorry. I just... I just... I just don't know what happened. It, Mark was on his way to be with his mom, and I haven't heard from him since. It's awful. I wonder how his mom's taking it. I know you wish you could check on him. How do you sound? <laughs> he sounded like he was in complete shock. And then he would freak out like it was just happening. And then he would try to take control of everything again. Sounds like him. <laughs> yeah. Always trying to help others and Never accepting help from anyone else. Yeah, it makes me so angry. And it's so hurtful. What do you mean? It kills me that he's going through hell and I, I can't even help him. He won't even talk to me. All I know is that his mom found his dad lying on the bed and he wasn't breathing. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know anything. You know, he might just need to be with his family right now. Maybe he feels like he needs to be strong for them, and if you show up, he'll break down and not fully be there. He, I know he should be strong, but he needs to mourn. Juliet, I think he really needs to be with his family. I am his family. I would never just leave him. You know, you're different people. Everyone deals with this in their own way. This is probably just his way of dealing with death. Well, he's being selfish. What am I supposed to do? The man I love is destroyed and I am completely helpless. If you love him, you will let him make peace with this on his own. The only thing you can do for him is be here when he's ready. I will be. Even if it takes forever. 